Here is a waved sphinx moth. It's part of the family Sphingidae of the hawk moth family. A beautiful, large, large, amazingly gorgeous big moth. These uh, hatch around and fly between May and August. Uh, closer to June if you're more up north. But these guys are fascinating little guys. They will, I've said guys way too many times. <laughs> this, this little fella is a beautiful example of a sphinx moth. Large in size, beautiful antenna. They can live longer than the average moth, up to two weeks, sometimes more. Um, recorded, sometimes up to six weeks, which is in more rare cases. But these guys actually have a proboscis, or in other terms, a tongue, which allows them to be able to replenish their energy and drink nectar from flowers while pollinating them at the same time. So hawk moths and other moths can definitely be a major important part of the ecosystem, even though they're given a bad rap because, you know, creepy moths. But moths are actually extremely important. And hawk moths like this play a very big role in the ecosystem and natural world. Say bye, little guy. Oh, little high five. Little sweet guy. Anyways, guys, here's an example of a waved sphinx moth. Have a great day.